Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be learning how to draw simple circuits. The very first thing you need to know is going to be your symbols. Now there are a lot of symbols in electricity. We are just learning the very basics here, okay? So a wire is a straight line. A resistor is going to be a zigzag line. Now you can see this part connecting on each side of the zigzag line, and that's just really where it's going to connect back to your wire. A light bulb is going to be a circle with an X. That's the very easiest one for you to draw. And then we have a switch. Notice this is kind of like your wire coming in and the switch is going to be this um, dot with another dot and you need to actually draw the switch portion. Now, if it's an open switch, you can see I drew it up. Um, so it's not connecting, right? So in other words, this circuit is turned off. So it's an open switch. If I wanted to turn the circuit on and draw a closed switch, I would need to put this line right here across these two dots. So essentially it would be one straight line with two dots, okay? And then we have a battery or a cell. And remember that you need a small line for negative and a longer line for positive, okay? And again, these are just where it connects to the wires on each side. So let's go ahead and look at the basics of a series circuit. Now, when you're drawing circuits, you need to make sure that you are always drawing with straight lines and 90 degree angles for corners, okay? And we never draw a circuit in an oval or a um, circle at all. You wanna make sure that you draw it in a box form, so it's gonna be a square or a rectangle. So it's really easy to start off with your battery or your power source. So here it is. And then we're gonna do the straight lines. Make sure you add in those corners. You're doing one pathway for a circuit. I just went ahead and drew one um, open switch here. And then we have one light bulb here and it comes back around and it completes a circuit to this positive terminal in the battery. Okay, so that's just the, the very basics of how to draw a series circuit. Let's go ahead and look at a parallel circuit. So remember in a parallel circuit, it's the same as a series, but now we need to add at least one more branch to the flow. Um, so you can go ahead and look. We started with the battery. If we go out, we need to now branch off, right? So I went ahead and I did one branch up top and one branch kind of in the middle, all right? Just make sure again, you're using straight lines and corners no rounding your edges and turning it into an oval or a circle, okay? So we can see we have an open switch here and there are three light bulbs. Three light bulbs aren't necessary for a parallel circuit, really only two are, right? You wanna make sure you have a load on each branch to use that electricity. Um, but I went ahead and put three just for fun. Okay, so it's your turn now. So draw a series circuit with two light bulbs a closed switch and one battery. So go ahead and pause the video, attempt to draw this by yourself, and then see the results in a second to check your answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our answer. So we can start with our battery and we can add in the light bulbs that it requested. It said two light bulbs, so there we go, two light bulbs are there. And then we have a closed switch, so you need to make sure that you're including those dots and do not draw it in an open position. Make sure you're drawing it in a closed position. Um, so that is everything we needed. We double checked that we do not have any circular shapes, right? Everything is straight lines with those 90 degree angle corners. So we are good to go. Let's try another one. So draw a parallel circuit with three light bulbs, a closed switch, three branches, and one battery. Go ahead and pause it. All right, let's check our answers. Start with a rectangle. That's gonna be your easiest way. We know we need three branches, so go ahead and add those branches right away. You need to make sure that you are putting at least one load on each branch when you're working, right? Go ahead and add that um, battery in, and let's go ahead and add those loads. So we have one, two, and three light bulbs. One light bulb, remember, on each branch, okay? And then we added in that close switch that it requested and we are good to go. So I hope this was helpful to you guys, learning how to draw these simple circuits and learning the shapes and symbols that go with it all. Thanks everybody. So I hope this video was helpful you guys. If you liked it, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you can see all the new videos that Science Explains is going to release. Thanks everybody, bye.